My name is Carl Black. I'm an interventional radiologist here at Utah Valley Regional Medical Center. This is my partner, Dr. Collins, and we are specialists in minimally invasive surgery. We deal a lot with vascular disease, and today we're going to talk about blood clots. Every Intermountain physician in our community who sees patients encounters deep venous thrombosis, and unfortunately, it occurs about 600,000 times a year in the United States. 1% of those patients could die from DVT. That's why it's very serious and fortunately we have a lot of tools to deal with this and that's what we would like to discuss. Clots come in all sizes and locations and depending on where a clot is and its extent we guide our therapy and this can range from just giving someone a blood thinner to actually trying to remove the clot with a device such as this. When we start treating a patient we actually use ultrasound to gain access into the vein. This allows us to pass a small wire up inside the vein and take this device and position it into the blood clot where we can turn it on and infuse special medication that allows us to dissolve the blood clot and aspirate it back out. When a patient has a large clot, if it's not treated, they can experience a significant amount of pain and swelling. In fact, up to 50% of those patients will have long-term problems with their veins if it's not successfully treated. Here at Intermountain, we have all options open in terms of how we treat patients, whether we're giving them simple blood thinner to using one of our devices to extract the clot, or even in large clot situations, putting in a special filter that protects the lungs from clot burden. I'm Allie, and um, I was a patient at Utah Valley Regional Medical Center. Three days before my wedding, I was diagnosed with the vein thrombosis and spent a week in the hospital and finally got married a, a week later. It started on a Friday. I went into the hospital on a Monday. Um, I just had a really heavy leg. It was purple, um, kind of numb, and I was just exhausted. You thought I'd have run 10 miles. Everyone should know what the risk factors are for deep vein thrombosis. Those can include travel, surgery, new medications such as hormone therapy, pregnancy, or even a family history of DVT. Based on you know, my experience with my DVT and getting in there, Intermountain Healthcare is the place to go. They know that you are not just a problem, they know that you are a person and they treat you like one. I definitely want to give the doctors um, at Utah Valley a huge thank you for saving my life and for saving my wedding. <laughs> in order to determine whether someone has a DVT, we do a very detailed ultrasound exam of their leg. And this requires state-of-the-art equipment and specially trained sonographers along with board certified radiologists who interpret those images. What is really exciting about my job is the ability to take care of problems which previously could never be addressed like they are now and to work in a facility like Intermountain where we can take exceptional care of our patients.